girls can play rugby and can aspire to be doing the job that we're doing and that's being a professional rugby player. Davis has it and the shove is on. Oh look at those tiptoes staying in. This is looking good for England. That one's over the line. Try number three. Previously they'd always just said oh it's just a lesser version of the men's game and actually now they kind of take it for what it is. It is a slightly different game. The skill level that we bring is different to the men. You know, you watch a men's game and it might be a bit more of battering rams running into each other or it might be a bit more kicking in open play. But actually we don't play that. We we look for the space, we want to exploit it. Okay, how many different ways can we get the ball to that space? That's a pass to nothing they need to get. The premiership clubs that we're playing in now have like minimum operating standards to make sure that we're supported as players to sort of grow the game itself but also to make sure that young players coming through have the best start possible. For me I didn't actually start playing rugby until I was like 14, 15. Like I didn't know that there was a women's like England team. My knowledge of rugby before I started was very very small. I, I knew women played rugby but I didn't really know like to what level. When I I had like the first taste of like going to a rugby club. I felt like like really welcomed and then actually started to play and was like this is an environment that I really want to be a part of. I only started playing four years ago. It's just the best thing I ever did. But I definitely found once I then was like, oh, I've started to play rugby, the looks would come and the questions would come like, oh, are you sure that's what you should be doing? Are you strong enough? And isn't that just what men do? Oh, you're only playing because you want to watch the men in the shorts and all, you know, the usual. You see like the narrative around, around women in sport changing slightly, like strong, powerful women are celebrated more. And I think they want to be fit and healthy. They want to get involved with a sport that sort of celebrates all, all women being strong, being powerful, like, for their, their differences and their individuality. Individual, I can't say it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> for young girls to see their person up there, see somebody that they can relate to, um, I just think is really important. When I got my first cap, we played at like, a school in Canada. There was like maximum of probably 50 people watching. It wasn't streamed, it was like we ended up getting it on a DVD like a week later or something like that. It was very different to kind of where it's at now. We're now playing more regularly on TV and we're getting our game put in front of you know a wider range of people who are then thinking actually like girls can play rugby and we want to show that girls can aspire to be doing the job that we're doing and that's being a professional rugby player.